Hello, my name is Johan Fenter and welcome back to my channel, where we focus on making online teaching and learning more engaging. More engagement leads to better performance. Anyone who has read Uncommon Sense teaching understands the profound impact of active learning. Active learning is about deeply engaging the hearts and minds of the learners, fostering a more immersive and meaningful learning experience. That is what my channel and this video is about. I borrowed this octopus from the book Uncommon Sense Teaching and it will put the second three plugins into my working memory so that I can talk to you about them. In case you've missed it, I talked about the first set of three in this video. By the way, you will clearly understand the role of the octopus after you have read the book. Gamification offers several benefits for teaching and learning, and while actual games are one way to engage students, another powerful tool is the use of leaderboards. The Level Up plugin isn't an activity or resource you add directly into a course, rather it's a block that can be enabled for a single course or across an entire site. I've enabled it site-wide on my site so that both students and teachers can monitor the participants' progress over all courses. Leaderboards introduce a competitive element, motivating students to improve their performance as they strive to rank higher amongst their peers. Additionally, structured challenges and quests provide students with clear goals and objectives, adding a sense of purpose and direction to their learning journey. Here's how you can set up the Level Up plugin for your Moodle site. Because Level Up is a block associated with a course or an entire site as in my site's case, its settings can be adjusted by going to Plugins and Blocks. One could also open the block drawer and adjust the settings here. Note that I have installed the free version of Level Up. The premium version contains many more options and settings. The settings on my free version is straightforward and basically determines the rules of the leaderboard. The guts of the rules are the points awarded when visitors or students are active on my site. In this example, 100 points are awarded when any quiz attempt or forum post is submitted. One could even with a free version, be quite specific about what activity or resource in what course needs to be completed for a determined number of points. One could build pretty complex rules and conditions. If your students know about them, they will soon be on a quest to find them. Once configured, students and teachers can easily track progress through the leaderboard. To maximize its impact, I recommend using Level Up in conjunction with Moodle's badges system. Without effective communication, the teaching and learning process can be confined to the limits of Moodle's internal messaging system. However, in many cases, especially in an adult learning environment, students may be more likely to check their emails than log into the LMS to see messages. This is where the Quick Mail plugin comes in. Quickmail isn't an activity or a resource that students interact with directly. Rather, it's a block that instructors can add to their course. The block serves as a powerful tool for managing email communication with students enrolled in that course. With Quickmail, instructors can send timely, well-crafted messages that are more likely to reach students than messages sent through the LMS. The plugin allows for comprehensive email management from drafting messages to scheduling notifications. By adding the quick mail block with editing turned on, teachers can streamline their communication process and ensure that important information is effectively delivered to their students. As we saw in this previous video, H5P is an exceptional tool for facilitating formative assessments, allowing students to tackle problems as they learn. As I mentioned earlier, Creating these assessments is no trivial task, but it is indispensable for the uncommon sense teacher who values active learning. With the H5P content type plugin, the effort you put into crafting formative assessment items during the H5P creation process 
can be easily leveraged within the Moodle question bank for later use in summative assessments. This plugin allows you to recycle and repurpose your H5P content, saving time and enhancing the continuity of your assessments. For example, here's an H5P interactivity where the learner is posed with a thoughtfully crafted multiple choice question. Now, here's the same question, seamlessly integrated into a Moodle quiz. The teacher simply imported the question from H5P into the Moodle question bank. Once the H5P content type plugin is installed, this option to import question types from H5P becomes available. It then becomes a straightforward process of uploading the H5P package file, allowing the questions used in the H5P package to be imported directly into Moodle for use in your quizzes and assessments. Please note, only some question types import effectively. So you will have to play around and find um, the optimal blend of question types that you can import. By the way, if you are looking to create how-to videos like this one, using just PowerPoint and Microsoft's ClipChat, don't miss out on the Udemy coupon below. In lesson 21 of my PowerPoint course for educators on Udemy, you'll find this complete set of PowerPoint slides from this video. Redeem the coupon, download, explore, and adapt them for your own use. So there you have it, three more plugins that will help make your online teaching uncommon. Level up, encourage a healthy competitive spirit among your learners with engaging leaderboards and progress tracking. Quickmail, enhance your communication strategy by reaching learners where they are most likely to respond through their emails. H5P content types, Efficiently recycle your well-crafted H5P questions into Moodle's question bank for seamless use in quizzes and assessments. To see a quick overview of how to install a plugin on your site, if you are the administrator, please go back and watch the first video in the series. All the plugins we explore today are featured in a mini Moodle course that I've set up for you to experience firsthand. The link to the course is in the description below. If you have not created a free account on my site yet, you will be asked to provide some basic details. Rest assured, your information is safe with me. If you'd like to create and host your own course on my site to learn to use Moodle and these plugins as the teacher and enroll your own students, consider buying me a cup of coffee by redeeming the Udemy coupon for my PowerPoint course for educators. It's also linked in the description below. And if you'd like me to create a Moodle course for you, feel free to contact me. Details are in the description as well. In our next video, we will explore some premium plugins that can elevate your uncommon sense teaching even further without breaking the bank. Happy teaching.